everybody. This is Randy with Carkeology, and I want to tell you a story about a couple of cars that I was involved with for Buzz Lightyear. That's right, Tim Allen, Santa Claus, whoever you want to call him. I helped him out with a couple of fantastic VWs. So one day the phone rings and I pick it up and there's a gentleman calling about a Volkswagen Beetle for sale on my website, oldbug.com. And unfortunately, the car that he was calling about had been sold. But the conversation continued and he started to tell me that he wanted to have a nice hot Volkswagen uh, to play with. And he sounded familiar to me, but I absolutely couldn't place it. Uh, and at one point, he even used the line, uh, do you know who you're talking to? And I said, no, I don't. And eventually he said, well, I'm I'm Tim Allen. And obviously, uh, that surprised the heck out of me. I mean, here I was out here in my yard milking goats at the time, actually. <laughs> and here I am talking with Tim Allen, and he wants my help with finding a VW. So I am not going to miss that opportunity to work with this guy. And so I said, you know what? Let me help you. And so we found this oval window beetle for sale in Texas. Now it was gold when we bought it, um, but it looked like a pretty neat car and, and he really liked it. And I said, you know what? Let's ship it out here to the lab. I'll go through it. We can change up a few things and then get it out to you. And uh, you can have some fun with it. Well, as many projects do, they kind of take on a life of their own. And the car needed a little bit of paint work, uh, a little bit of repair. And, and he said, you know what? Why don't we paint it white? Now, apparently the story is that Tim, when he left for California, uh, he put all of his stuff in a white Volkswagen Beetle and drove across the country to start his whole career. So going with white on this was certainly a neat choice. And then, of course, we had to change the interior so the interior looked nice with it. And it ended up turning into a pretty much full build. Now, I didn't do a whole lot of the work on the car myself. In fact, I did very little when it came down to it. We sent it off to a shop to have the, the paintwork done. Uh, the assembly was done by a friend of mine, Bob Lacoste, who works for a group called The Compound now, doing amazing stuff there. Uh, the car came back to me for some final finishes. Uh, I ended up doing wheels, uh, did a custom finish on the Porsche alloys, uh, and did a few other things. And I kind of played contractor on the whole thing and oversaw the process of it. Um, and then, of course, brought it up to him when it was done. And he was kind enough to let Hot BW shoot a feature on it. Um, we all went up there to uh, pose with it. Uh, Clyde Berg had done some tuning on the engine, and so he was able to come out for that as well. And uh, and it was a fantastic day of hanging out in his uh, ultimate man cave. And for me, it was super exciting because here he was, he could have anything he wanted and a lot of muscle machines, and he wanted a VW. In fact, he ended up with two of them. This Carmen Ghia was one that was for sale on my website as well. And this was built um, by a member of the Emery family, uh, the uncle, I think, of, uh, of Rod Emery, or actually maybe it was his dad. Uh, but it had a lot of Porsche touches to it, it had a Porsche style dash, 356 style gauges, uh, has Porsche headlights in it there. Um, and when he bought that, it came out here to the lab as well. And I did some changes on it. I uh, installed these wheels on it. Um, and uh, we fabbed some uh, knockoffs for it. Uh, the bumpers were not on the car when he bought the car. And so I sourced these smooth bumpers, painted them to match. and did a little bit of finish work on it as well. Um, and it was a really fantastic car. In any case, uh, that is my experience with Tim Allen and his Volkswagens out of his collection. Oh, and to finish it up, he still has the Carmen Ghia, um, but the Beetle I recently sold for him off of the Old Bug website, and it's now with a collector in Canada. So anyway, Buzz Lightyear, Santa Claus, Tim Allen, he's the man, fantastic place neat opportunity and it was really fun to work with him thanks for watching guys bye bye